it's kind of funny sitting out in the chairs out back there or a chair uh, I wasn't being attacked by mosquitoes I don't know if you can see them as soon as I walk through the gate there friggin they start swarming me again I actually uh, left to get out of the mosquitoes holy cow man it was getting crazy so it's just crazy they're just all over the place so I knew I didn't have anything planned here because well I couldn't get enough uh, uh, pepper plants the pepper plants are actually doing fairly good if you look at them in their dome dome of protection from the slugs as I was hauling a bunch of this uh, those weeds up I found quite a few slugs I originally threw them in this water but uh, they crawled right up the side so I had some beer that were was left for I don't know, probably four, four years or something. I'm surprised the, the cans didn't break. But they didn't. Uh, that's alcoholic Canadian beer. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I opened the can and, and uh, threw it in there. And I don't see them crawling back up. So I think they pretty well drowned in the beer. I don't think they can... Uh, suck that up and drink it or whatever however they survive in water so yeah this has been kind of difficult because I'm trying not to uh, pull up the potato plants and trying not to pull up the uh, the uh, onions but it's, unfortunately it seems I used, I had two full rows of onions here and well actually I have a few rows of onions there's there's onions over here that I started later on but these ones here were taken off pretty good but uh, something got at them I don't know if it was the slugs or what it was I'll have to put out an investigation but um, yeah so I'm trying to save the potato plants whichever ones I find trying to save the onion plants whichever ones I can find and uh, well there's a lot of potato plants right here oh my gosh the bloody mosquitoes are driving me crazy so I can't handle the mosquitoes anymore. They're just just drive me cr too crazy. So I'm gonna drop this for now and uh, go over and work with stones. It's too. Uh, I gotta start propping up some of these uh, these tomato plants. By the looks of it, they're starting to lean already, and there's no fruit on them. Well, there's a couple fruit on some of them, but. That one there I don't think has any fruit, but it's all starting to lean over. Some animal must have ran into it. So, uh, yeah, some of them are starting to get some fruit. I did pull the uh, buds off of some of them, but... Or mo actually, most of them, except for one, I think that one right there. But I just wanted to see how that was going to go. But I don't think I'm going to haul any more buds off them. I'm just going to let them go and let them start growing tomatoes and and uh, go from there. But uh, and you know deal with the plants as as need be. But uh, it almost seems as though I'm going to need to. Jeez. Uh, I'm going to need to start staking these, some of these tomato plants. 
And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave the uh, pepper plants in the domes. I'm not going to remove them. Uh, we're getting so much rain. We're getting rain again tomorrow. So the uh, it's not really hurting them for being in the domes. Um, and uh, <laughs> as you can see, that's not even a pepper plant, but. As you can see, in the dome, they, things grow real well. So, the dome shall stay. And, uh, well, it's just like a greenhouse, really. So, I don't want to make it too long. All it is is, I did some weeding today, and I think I'm just going to have to every day, before I start working on rocks, I'm going to have to come out here, Put an hour in and weed and then when the mosquitoes get too bad it's time to leave. Cheers.